Hello, it's me. Me! So we've got a new update. As many of you saw, as you can see here in the bottom, the uh, fighter area in Spirits Land. And um, I'm going to go through everything, you know, like a normal day. But I'm going to go ahead and talk about these two areas first. Because um, I'm sure that's what you'd be most curious about. So when you get in this area, you're going to choose between five people. Now, you want to choose wisely. They're going to be fighting individually one by one by one by one by one. And um, as the game goes along it's going to be um boosted by attack and crit rate so you kind of want people that you know can support themselves having a little bit of aoe is actually pretty good because you're going to eventually be fighting groups of people but obviously you're going to want to put down your strongest people as well and i don't have a whole lot of people to choose from so i'm just going to put down you know people that i know i have gear sets for and i'm pretty sure those are actually my highest ones so when you go to the place you're not going to initially be able to annihilate like you can um in the islands you can skip each battle i highly recommend you do this because it's gonna be super fucking slow you put them in either one and no you cannot have two people at the same time only one person it's a 1v1 whatever i mean sometimes it's like 1v5 but so you push start battle and you win and you get you know items and it goes on and on and on. Um, it goes all the way up to Ethereal. As you see, I'm currently in Easy as I just started this one. Normal, Hard, Special, Legendary, and Ethereal. Um, if you're free to play, most of you are going to end up in Special somewhere. Um, if you're doing really good as a free to play, you might end up in Legendary. Uh, I, don't, I don't think a whole lot of people are going to get that far, though. You see on... Right now on this server, almost everybody's in special or legendary. <laughs> and if you if you see somebody in easy, it's just because they gave up. Not because it's hard, because it's very time consuming. Now, don't worry about this in the long run, because after, what is it, every three days that it opens, um, you can annihilate and you know, skip everything that you've done previously in order to see if you can progress any farther. Because this is so fucking slow as you see in the bottom left attack up crit rate up and crit damage up and you get that by just continually battling now these things in the bottom right the um the potions you can only use those with the character that you have out there is no revive potion so if you are heavily hurt you're gonna want to use the uh rainbow potion because i mean it's 100 percent hp the green one's 30% HP, and the yellow one is your uh, special attack, you know, the yellow bar, which is under your health bar. Alright, so that's, yeah, that's that. So as you're playing around this in the store, under rare store, you're going to continually get new items. Epic store, you'll get um, typically shards. In legendary, you'll definitely get a shard, but uh, I think on the other account, I got... Um, only got like 10 shards for a legendary it was like an elite um i didn't buy it because it was super expensive it was like 1200 gems and there's no guarantee that i was gonna get you know more shards over here in spirits land every day every week it's gonna be a different element this week starting out obviously it's gonna be water and you can only use your uh, earth type all right and as you can see i don't have a real serious build for earth um at all wow this sucks all right um <laughs> this is like my only option <laughs> there we go all right but you can do this five times and obviously it's going to refresh um there's a high chance that you're not going to be able to nail every single one of these your first time Especially the very last one of your day. Yeah, fuck, I knew it. Only it's only because uh, you know you you do in a team that you're not really building for. You're not usually building an entire team of one element, but that's all good. You should be able to complete all five at some point. So that's that. Spirit Lands is pretty 
pretty easy, pretty simple, really nothing to it. Um, but as the weeks progress and as time goes on, you'll eventually get, you know, higher placements. Now we're going to continue to do what I do. It's super easy. If you want to get this done, you know, without ever thinking twice, just grab that loot, guild office, grab the calendar, request, grab request, maybe donate a mill. Here. Get out of there. Labyrinth, super easy. Hit it. Hit it with everything you've got. A fail. Interesting. I might actually change that at some point around my team. Sanctuary. Wins. They changed the uh, graphics a little bit. Grabby is all that that I can, all that that I can. I'm changing uh, heroes so I or uh, creatures so I definitely need all of that. I'm not sure if I need any more of those, but I'm gonna grab it just in case. Uncharted Land. I'm going ahead and just start this. I'm not actually gonna finish it. As you can see, there's a little bit of a graphical change here. Um. I don't think the gameplay has changed much. I'm just gonna throw everything down. Grab that. Um, now you don't have that stupid interruption where it says, this is what you're gonna get in the shards department, you know, in the market, this is what you're gonna get. They just have it nice there, nice and tidy in the bottom left corner. The artifact lists and the hero list and instead of having a potion button just included with the hero list now, as you can see it's still carried over from all the previous matches that i've done in uncharted land so that's pretty nice um and you may be wondering do the potions carry over um in fight area no these potions will not carry over so once this is closed it's closed it's everything's going to be reset the only thing that carries over is your placement I already did that. What am I doing? I wish the Annihilation uh, worked with the boss, too. The boss is free. So it's not even like it, it would be hard. When I'm doing Hidden Isle, I almost always hit this twice. Because gold is becoming relatively hard to get. When you upgrade somebody to 250 or something, though. Or not. 250, 200. Ah, above 200. When you're trying to get somebody above 200, you typically get a lot of gold back because you're generally building somebody. And that's why this account has as much gold as it does. Here we go. Oh no, why did I click that? Arena. Okay, this confused me because when I did this on the other account, I got six free tries. And that was weird. So we got one. Two. Three. Look, it's still free. <laughs> Four. Five. Ah, it's five free tries. Weird. That guy hit. That guy finally hit a million. That's awesome. That's a pretty big difference compared to everybody else. Holy shit. He must be spending a lot of money. Um, this is a good time to be buying premium orbs if you uh, have have the money to do it. As this is the premium event. Oh my god, 50? Dude, I gotta buy it. Um, damn. Okay, so these got restocked. <clears throat> Sounds like I need to do a battle for the festival. Success, success, success. <laughs> Fuck, dude. That guy should win. I mean, 
You should. Alright, then I go on and hit adventure. So adventure did get a change. Now we have these stupid tickets. And basically what it's saying is you can only play an area as many times as you have tickets. Now you can have more than five tickets. You can buy them. But, um... It's, a uh, pretty fucking annoying. So let's say I go over here. And I want to use it. Now this is really going to hurt people. You can't skip, by the way. You can't skip this adventure. So these tickets are really going to hurt people that are new to the game. Because they're going to be held down by a, a stamina crunch, basically. And that's pretty aggravating. Oh, and especially going to be aggravating for people who already know that there's no way that they're going to win an area. Oh my god, I actually won though. <laughs> Alright. Well, I wasn't expecting to win. Must have been some changes, because there's no... Dude, I've done that so many times, there's no way I was going to win those previously. Ah, oh, man. You can do the two times, but you can't skip, and that's actually really annoying. <clears throat> So the reason I have Cliff up front is because he revives himself after he's dead. And so that's pretty much a really solid distraction. And he also heals because of Kimberly. And he also does damage to the enemy team when he dies. So coming up front is pretty nice. <laughs> yeah, if I went, I'm not going to continue doing this on camera because it's going to be running out of time here. I'll do this off cam. Pretty cool. See how much damage. Hell yeah. One mil. Confirm. And then usually I already knew I capped out for the day, so I'd do this, but obviously I haven't capped out yet, so I'll do that off camera as well. Um, at about level 99, I went ahead and switched from battle gear rewards all the way back to upgrade rewards because. I've been needing these purple greater orbs um, for leveling up. What did I say times two? Oh, I got times two of the green orbs too. But I need the purple orbs in order to get my people to 250 because it gets pretty, pretty expensive. Mage tower, thankfully we can still skip that. Of course, I'm not gonna get any progress there. Here, we're gonna have to use these premium summons and everything else is pretty much oh mage choice you actually can get elites as you see i have kimberly and the other one i have a, a good fire one it's very hard to do it i want it doesn't refresh all right unless you obviously click refresh so every day i just keep trying until the event happens where i can actually pour all of my stones in at once and see if i can get anything good so my advice if you are playing that event is go ahead and refresh every day until you get somebody good because that is 100% worth it one thing I always tend to forget is my friends so let's well I don't forget but don't do it in the order I wish I could do it in grab this got 2000 for the uh, update Blacksmith, I always go ahead and do one set. Now, if you really desperate for upgrades, you can go ahead and on, get collect. You already know ahead of time that they're going to, um, in the event, you're going to need three of each kind, three fire, three wind, three earth, three water, two light, and two dark for the uh, summons event or whatever event that's called. So if you check out your heroes, go to your pieces and see that, oh, I have two fire and I can draw one randomly or I can make one, then you're pretty good, right? So as you see here, I'll make an example. I have two wind type already, you know, Kimberly and Sylvester. I can obviously make a third one 
and I should be able to make more than just one extra earth type. Like you see, I don't have enough shards to make another five star. Let's go ahead and go to Temple of Souls, go to Earth only. So I need about, oh, how many is it? I need five shards in order to create another creature. So we got one, two, three, four, five. So I have five literally set apart in the four stars alone. And I have all these shards. So I am definitely more than able to create um, some free shards. Now I can use these in order to upgrade creatures at the that I have at the moment. And that'll, you know, help me level up and stuff like that. One, two, three. As long as you have, you know, three of a kind set apart, set aside, then you're good to go. And I'll do the rest of that off camera. I just wanted to express that to you guys. I should have everything. I think I did everything. Oh, normal summon. Forgot about that. I'm actually going to do more than just a normal summon. I'm going to do... All kinds of summons. But I do have a free one, so let's do that. Here we go. Got a hundred of these. No five star. No five star. Oh, not enough slots. What do you mean? Go to the altar. Make sure we have three of a kind. Oh my god, that's a lot. Three is all we need. The, 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 the three is all we need. Uh huh. All the girl gonna be like that. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh yeah. Here we go. Oh, oh, we're running out of room. Oh, we're running out of room. We got shark bait. Ooh, my high. Here we go, shark bait. Here we go. Oh, we got ugly goblin. We got snowman. All right. I have way too many of these. In fact, I'm only going to save one row of those because I definitely don't need all that many. Oh my god, that's so much. I got room. I got so much room. There we go. Let's do another one. Do another. We got eight more of these. And I get a free five star. Nothing. Oh, we got one. Ooh, excuse me. Nothing. Get two. Oh my god, dude, these rates are horrible. My other account got like five. I ain't, I ain't getting nothing out of this. Oh, we got a Sylvester, though. That's a pretty solid. We got an Elite. Got a pig. Damn it. Altar. Oh, I'll tie have a you. Keep it some more dice. Oh my god, I got a lot of monkeys. Oh, I ran out of room. There we go. Right on you, mate. That's right. Come on, get rid of these bloody pigeons. There we go. Crikey, mate. I think I don't have any room. All right, let's find those witches again. There we go. Get rid of them. Crikey, got a lot of them. There we go. Should have plenty of room now. Let's go ahead and uh, summon a few more. Oh, I had plenty of room for this. Ah, oh, bloody, I ain't getting nothing out of this. Jeez, this was the worst draw of my life. All right, that was terrible. Terrible. Oh, I got 10 more. Let's go. This is it. We're gonna get a light one. Five star light. Here we go. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Alright, well, that's all I got for you today. Go ahead and upgrade your Cerberus. Eventually, I'll be able to use them. <laughs> See you next time, guys. Adios. Oh, yeah, and I got all these, these free things. And there's now a level up uh, 2 pass. Level up two pass. That's pretty sick. Adios.